Hello everyone, welcome back. On this channel, I use zero-based budgeting and the cash stuffing method to help pay off debt, save for big savings goals, and manage my full-time self-employment income. Today, I'm going to be doing a cash unstuffing, my very first cash unstuffing, where I will be taking money out of my binders here with my envelopes for certain categories and tracking my online spending and repaying my credit card for the online spending that I have done. So let's get into it. To get started, I am going to grab my budget binder and I have already wrote down all of the spending that I have done for uh, the month so far. And I'm going to go through each category and the amounts and then take that amount from my binder and put it in um, the cash tray here and I will be returning that amount to the bank to repay for my credit card balance. So to get started, let's add all of these up and make sure that the total is correct to what matches my credit card balance currently. I use a, uh, we have a bills checking account and we also have a, a credit card that we use for variable expenses. And so this is the variable expenses that we're going to be repaying um, from my cash envelopes. All right, so 573.68. I think I might have to re-add that just to be sure, but as you can see here, 221 of this um, is for my eye care. Uh, I purchased some new glasses and got some upgrades there for like having the blue light put on my glasses and stuff like that. So um, if we subtract that amount, it's 352.68. So I'm going to grab a pen and I'll write down this balance. All right, so the total balance is so far is $573.68. So that is what we will need to take back to the bank to repay for um, the expenses that I have charged on the card here. Okay, first we're gonna start with our health category and I'm gonna add up all of the ones that are health related, uh, health slash medical related, and then I am going to um, put them in the cash tray here. So this is my binder that has my um, health funds in it. So the total for health related, let's see, is 41, 3306. Most of this is for vitamins, supplements, um, let's see. And then my glasses. So the total is 309.37 and I know for sure we do not have that amount in the envelope. So we'll see what we can do. Let's find the health here. Count it and see what we have. So that's 120, 40, 65, 70, 75, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85. So that's 185 that we have. So let's take away the amount for my glasses and let's just focus on paying that back. So 88.37, so basically $90. So let's do 50, 70, 90. And then we will worry about um, well, let's see, I could probably actually do nearly exact change. So let's do 50, 70, and then this would be 2, 5, so that's 80, 85, 86, 87, 88. Okay, that's pretty good. Um, just so I get some change going here, and then I'll when I pull from other envelopes, I will be able to put these in here. I will be able to make sure that I have some change. 
And then what I will do is I will either pay myself back later for my glasses or I will use it uh, to pay it back from my personal, my own personal fund. So we did this one, this one, and this one. Okay. Next up is our entertainment category. So let's close this one up. Get our bills binder here. Um, well, let's see. First, let's add all of the entertainment and amounts. This is mostly for streaming services. If we rented like a movie online, um, Disney Plus, things like that. $41.20, so basically $40, which is I'm pretty sure is all we have. Where's entertainment? Yeah, I think we have $40 in there right now, so that will do. Not super worried if it's not the exact change because I do have a buffer in my bills account, so when I put this into my bills account and then I pay it from that, I will be able to... Um, Let's move this over a little bit. Um, I will be able to, you know, cover any like couple of dollars here and there. So let's see, we've got that one, this one, and this one. So this is an easy way to use the cash stuffing method and still use like a credit card or a debit card online. And you can just reimburse yourself um, either from your buffer account, for, you know, put the money in and then pay the credit card right away. So that way the credit card balance doesn't ever get out of control, hopefully. <laughs> I've been super guilty of that in the past. So this is my foray into, you know, trying to make sure that I stay on budget and that I'm able to pay for everything that I actually do owe and that is, um, you know, my responsibility. I, I spent this money and I want to pay it. So next up is a dining out category. So let's add all of those up together. Most of the time when my husband and I dine out, um, it's like on a weekend or something like that when we're really busy we have a, a full-time travel blog that we manage we have to go a lot of places you know and get pictures and videos and stuff like that we're doing a campaign for um, one of the state's transportation services right now so we go a lot of places and, so, and sometimes we have to dine out for that uh, and then I think that was it just those three yep yeah, so that's hundred and twenty three dollars ish so let's see what we have. We have a separate grocery envelope here. Um, and then this is our eating out. So we need 120. Wow, look at that. One, two, three. Cool. And this will roll over to next week. Just check these off. And this one down here. Okay. Um, some of these include tip, you know, so this wasn't, this is the full amount, including the tip that we, when we run out to this place with friends or something like that. Okay, what do we have next? Groceries. We have a couple of grocery categories. Not too many. Um, so that's $23.53. Is that the only two? I think so. Yeah. Back in this binder, maybe I should just leave it out. So let's see, we might have to do some change for sure. Okay, so I'm gonna take $40, put it right here, set that to the side a second, 
Actually, I'm going to put this back in here so I don't uh, <laughs> I don't lose it and f forget what this money is for. Okay, forty-three dollars. So let's say minus forty on the calculator. So we need change for sixteen dollars, basically. So five, ten, fifteen, sixteen, and then we can put both of these twenties in here. Yeah, that should work. Close, close enough, right? Because I will definitely be able to cover any like few cents or dollar that we're off. Okay, takes care of that. And this one. And then since this is a Father's Day month, we spent gifts on Father's Day. So there's two here, I think, and that's it. Um... Let's see, we have two awesome fathers in our lives. So that's what those gifts were for, $52.18. Um, I'm trying to think, I think my gifts category is in this binder. Yeah, so we have 50 and then $2. So we still have a decent amount left in gifts this month. That's great. That will the gifts fund is also for any um, birthday, you know, gifts that come up or something like that in the future as well. Okay, I think we only have two categories left. So this is a personal. I bought myself a pair of shoes off of Amazon and then my glasses. So we'll see how much my personal envelope has, which I know it doesn't have enough to cover all of the glasses. So I will either have to take that from a different category or I will just have to pay myself back over time. So this first one was for $25 basically for the shoes. So I think I'll just use trying to see if I want to split these 50s, but I'll use this um, 10, 20, and I'll give myself back one, two, three, four, five ones. Okay. So that will be $25 there. And then the last one is for my eyes, which is 221. So I think I'll take this 100 at least and put towards it and I know that I'll have 121 left to pay off. So let's see how much um, we can get out of health still to make another $121. 50, 70, 90, 5, 96, 97. So we don't have quite enough. So we have 221 minus the 100 I put in and then minus 50 is 71 left still. So I wonder if I shouldn't just wait. I think I'll just wait. I, I'll know, I'll make a note that I need to pay myself back from my health envelope an additional $121. Um, I could probably take it from like another category like savings or something like that too, but I wanna try and pay it from my own personal um, envelope as much as possible. So I'm going to say OK here, 120 run remaining. OK. All right. So we're not going to have the full um, $573 to take back to the bank, but let's count and see what we do have right now. And I might actually do a bill swap or bill exchange really quickly here at the end because I like to keep some of these 50s and I'll exchange them for like a bunch of 20s or something in different uh, in different envelopes here. Okay, 50, 150, 250, 300, 20, 40, 60, 80, 400, 20, 40, 50, 1, 2. So it's $452 and we were supposed to have 573. So the difference should be 121. What did I say, 452? Yep. Okay, so that's that's great then. I will take 
this amount back to the bank and I will pay myself from the health envelope maybe later this month. I won't mark this off. I'll just uh, highlight this when I'm done and then I will continue paying the rest of June. I have another sheet here for online spending and I'll be able to do that. So, all right, I'm gonna put this back. This is, let me write down the amount just for my own self, 452 to bank. Okay, I'm gonna put this back in the tray because I do wanna see about condensing some of these envelopes if I can. I would rather get rid of some fives than get rid of this 10. So let's go through really quickly and see about doing a bill swap, sort of condensing a bill exchange. Well, let's see, 20, 40, 50, or 20, 40, 60, 80. So I could do, mm, no, I can't do anything. I was gonna see about getting two 50s in there somehow, but. Taxes, oh, I do also need to take this out because I paid my taxes on the 15th of June, my estimated pet taxes since I'm full-time self-employed. So I will definitely have to take this 300, 50, 70, 370 back to the bank as well. So I need to swap out some of those because I want to keep those hundreds too. Um, actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to move this for now because I don't really need it right now. Set that to the side so I can have more space for this. Uh, what was this, 370, I think? Yeah, okay, I'll have to remember that that is for taxes. Um, don't think I can do anything with this, no. All right, if there are fives in here, yeah, I wanna trade these two fives, move this up a little bit, for this 10, because these two fives are pretty, they're not very um, crunchy. Crispy? Crispy. All right, I think that's good. Can't do anything else with that. I don't really want to change out my grocery money too much because I we take this to the grocery store and then we um, we use it. I don't want to trade it out for a bunch of 50s or anything. There's only 120 left there. Okay, nothing with this one. Let's see, can I condense this? Yeah. I can definitely do two of those for one of these. Actually, I'm going to put this back here because I want to keep that together. Three one hundreds there. Um, yeah. Okay. I was just seeing if I could condense it into another 50, but I cannot. All right. Let's move on to this binder. Um, let's see what's an emergency. Okay, 20, 30, 40. I can do these two tens for another 20. Let's get like a nice 20, yeah. I just did a recent bill swap and exchange, so there's not a lot that can be done in these, but there maybe is a little bit. One, let's see, one, two, three, four, five for one of these really, really <laughs> wimpy vibes. Um, and then I could probably do another 50 here. So that's 40, 50 right there. And then what category is this household? Okay, I think I'll just keep it like that because we do spend money out of this household. Envelope. Gifts. I don't think I can really, no, consolidate that too much. I want to keep those ones in there. Actually, how many ones? Oh, it's, um, it's only three ones anyway. Health, I think we already know mostly. Yeah, I can't do anything with that either. I thought more of these would be available for like 100 consolidation, but no can do. 
All right, there's one there. Take one of these hundreds. Ooh, get this old school hundred. All right. Um, this is my husband's personal spending. I don't really think I want to consolidate any of these because we will definitely, he'll be using the money out of here. Well, I can do a 50 at least. So that's a 50. Yeah. And then I can trade two of these fives for this 10 back. There we go. He doesn't mind usually carrying 50s for the most part. That just has a 10. Mine doesn't have really anything. Let's see if I can trade out some of these ones. Um, yeah, okay. So we can take this five. Actually, let's get this nicer five. Put it in here. Um, nope, 45 right there. And then we just have my savings challenge binder left. I don't think there's really much, wow, check this cash tray out. It is a mess, huh? I don't think there's really uh, anything in here too much that we can consolidate, but let's check it out. Most of these are saving, or all of these are savings challenges. Ugh, stiff. So I don't spend money out of them. 50, 70, 90, well, that would be 110. So I could put this and then get out, well, let's see, put these 50s back here. I mean, technically all of this is going to the same place at the bank and then get a 10 out. This is a nicer 10, okay. That consolidated there, and that's the same. One, two, three, four, ten. Yes, okay. That's what I had in there, or like that's what's in my spreadsheet that I have in there when I'm tracking it. Put these two tens. Actually, I think I'm going to keep these because I don't really want to get rid of all of my tens. I like having tens around and sometimes they're hard to come by for some reason. I don't know why not very many people carry tens around. They carry fives and twenties for the most part. I will take this though and then keep those. Yeah. This is my Thanksgiving envelope. Well, I could put a 50 in here, which I'm okay with doing because, um, nicer 50, swap that these, um, because like I said, I'm just using this to save and I'm not spending money out of here. So I'm fine with those bills being a little bit bigger, hopefully getting even more bigger as even more larger <laughs> as the the year goes on. All right. Oh, Christmas. I don't think I have any more hundreds. No. Okay. So we'll just leave. We'll just leave those like that. Eh. Okay. All right. That is it for all of my envelopes. It's my $1 savings challenge. I actually would like to put all of these ones in there. Let's count how many we have, because then my buffer would have to make up the rest, basically. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve dollars in ones. Um, so I might put that in there and then, you know, just take the rest of the money from my buffer to pay for the twelve dollars so I can keep these ones and put towards my one dollar savings challenge at the end of the year. But for now, that will wrap up this video. Thank you so much for watching and joining me today for this um, uh, cash unstuffing, how I track my online spending and I'm able to repay from my cash envelopes. I will be taking all of this money back to the bank here um, and 
depositing it into my bills account and then paying off my credit card from that. So if you enjoy videos like this, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel. I do videos twice a week all about budgeting, cash stuffing, and debt payoff. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have an awesome day. I'll see you next time. Bye!